Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with this. Oh yeah, I, I was hoping you'd dust my pianos off for me. Uh, well, no, I'm not here to dust your pianos. Okay, then you're here to tune them for me. Well, no, I'm not here to tune them either. Well, you're certainly not planning on playing them, are you? Uh, you were my piano teacher several years ago, remember? Oh yeah, I, uh, I kind of forgot about that. You kind of forgot about that? Are you saying I wasn't very good? Let's just put it this way. Some of your best lessons were when I remembered to wear my earplugs. What? Okay, have at it. You mean to tell me that you're, you, you, you never heard, no, she. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't really hear you at all. Ow, brother. Hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with today's special co-host, my former piano teacher, Dawn. Hello. And today, we're gonna have some fun talking about being a disciple. Being a disciple? That sounds like one of those church words. Oh, it is. Jesus talks a lot about being a disciple. Well, this might sound like kind of a strange question, but what exactly is a disciple? Well, it's funny you should ask, because being a disciple means being a student or a follower of a teacher. Oh, like a piano student. Right. And in the case of Jesus, a true disciple is not just a student or a learner, but a follower, someone who actually applies what he learns. Sounds like a pretty big deal. Oh, it is. In fact, the very last words Jesus said to his followers before he went up into heaven are found in Matthew 28, 19, and 20, where he said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Wait a minute. On one hand, we're supposed to be disciples or students of Jesus, but this verse is saying that we're also supposed to disciple others. Like, be like their teacher? Exactly. Just like, you were a student who learned how to play the piano when you were a young girl, but then you also became a teacher or a discipler who taught others how to play the piano. Oh, now I'm starting to get it. We're not just supposed to follow Jesus, but we're supposed to teach others about him too. Exactly, just like the piano. I'm sure you enjoy playing, but it's probably even more satisfying when you teach someone else to play. It can be, if they have the discipline to practice. Discipline? Yeah, you know, if they form good, consistent practice habits and have a good attitude. Well, that's interesting. Both the words discipline and disciple come from the same Latin word for student. Yeah, I guess you could say disciplined disciples make the best students. And the same is true for students of Jesus. If we truly want to follow him, we'll be consistent with getting into the word, praying and listening to him on a regular basis. So what are we going to do for an object lesson? Well, since I did take lessons from you for a year and a half, and it is the holidays, I thought it might be kind of fun to treat our audience to a little Christmas duet on the piano, just to kind of show everyone the kind of results that can happen from a good student-teacher partnership. Oh, that sounds like fun. What did you have in mind? Well, I've been working lately on this little medley from The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker? You mean that two-act classical ballet composed by Tchaikovsky that's performed by countless dance troops across North America every year at Christmas time? That's the one. Never heard of it. Ow, oh, brother. Well, I just happened to have a short piece that captures some of the highlights, and I thought maybe we could perform it together. Hmm. Of course, I know that I've been rehearsing this piece for weeks. And you haven't even seen it yet, so you might be a little rusty, but I... Dawn? Oh, where'd she go? Okay, I'm ready. 
what I get myself into. So, Dawn, what did you learn today? I learned that the word disciple means being a student or a follower of a teacher and actually applying what he learns. Exactly. And Jesus calls us to not only follow him, but to also disciple or teach others about him. Very good. Now, since you got to pick the piano piece we just played, I thought I should get a chance to pick one, too. Well, that sounds fair. Uh, what did you have in mind? I thought we could play another fun Christmas duet, like the song Sleigh Ride. Sleigh Ride? Oh, I love that song. So, are you up for it? Well, sure, as long as you don't pull any punches. I can't promise you that, but I think you'll get a kick out of it. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay. 